What's up, y'all? So, today I'm making this video about Aphrodite Stone, who was a, a YouTuber on here, who claims that she's a star sea healer and stuff like that. Now, um, I don't usually make exposure videos, but today I pretty much got to because when you got folks that are deceiving people, you need to say something about it so other people don't continue to be de deceived by them. And also, when you do not reveal the truth about stuff, when it comes to time to pay the karmic consequences, you gonna pay it too because because you do not use your courage to speak the truth. And so, this this lady, she claims that she's a star seed healer. Her name is Aphrodite Stone, and I know for a fact that she is deceiving people into uh, buying different products from her, getting different things from her that they don't 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 really need, so she can get paid. She will tell you that you got different things wrong with you different things happening in, in, in your life that aren't really happening so she can get paid. And I know this for a fact because I actually went to her shop to personally meet her and I didn't like the experience because she lied about a lot of things that she said was happening in my life that were not happening. And then the, the way she, she treated me after I had paid her. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you my story with her. Um, when I first went to her shop, my tire blew out on my, my way to her shop. Now, I was going to, to learn different things from her to broaden my spiritual uh, horizons and stuff. And when I first went, I felt like it was dark spirits trying to keep me from going to see her so I wouldn't learn what I was trying to learn. But I figured out that it was because my ancestors, my, my guardian angel, didn't want me to be going to her anyway because they knew what she was about. So... When I, my tire popped, I, I, I called her and told her, and she didn't um, ask if she could, could, could help me here, anything like that. She just wanted to reschedule the appointment, and she told me if I couldn't make it to my next appointment, that she couldn't refund me my um, my money, which was $175. Now, I mean, I wasn't upset about that at the time, but when you think about it, um, that's a lot of, of money, and if I wasn't able to make it to her shop, then she should have refunded me that for the simple fact that if I can't make it to her shop, I could probably make it um so somewhere else to learn the same information i was trying to learn she lives in tucson arizona and i live in phoenix arizona so that was two hours away from where i'm at to get there and um it, w it was a long drive and my tire popped so the next time a couple days later i went and my tire popped again but this time my tire popped when i had just got off the exit when i had just hit, hit the exit to get to her shop and i just kept going on my flat flat tire to make it because i was determined to get there and learn what i wanted to learn but when I went there, I did not learn what I wanted to learn from her because she instead wanted to tell me the different things that were going on in my, my, my life that were not happening. That's one sign of a fake fake healer, a fake shaman. They don't want to teach you how to do stuff on, on your own. They just want to keep doing it for you so, so you can keep keep paying them. So I went to her shop. She, she told me, here's here's the lie she told me. She, she told me that my an ancestors were mad at me these are a couple lies she told me she told me my ancestors were mad at me for doing something that i i had done but that's really not true my ancestors are, are not like that she thinks that i'm not able to contact my ancestors and spirit guides and stuff but i am and i know what they they have have to uh, say they weren't feeling like that she told me that the reason my tire had, had popped was because um my ancestors thought i needed to uh, suffer to suffer suffer more and that didn't resonate with me at, at all that sounded like some silly stuff so that wasn't true either then she, she told me that in a past life my mother had slit my my throat because i was i was her father in a past life and i was very controlling and and um, mean mean to her and she said that's why she had to slit my throat so she could get a, away from me which that was a lie I, I knew that was a lie because i know my past lives and that's not one of them and that didn't even resonate with me or my mom. So she lied about a lot of stuff. She um um she even lied about me um saying some type of spirit was attached to me or something like that. And she gave me a uh, uh, healing. She set me on this table and, and gave me a healing on, on on this table or whatever she did. I don't even think that she did anything because after it was done, I didn't really feel any different. I mean, I came in there with a headache, and when I left. I didn't have a headache anymore, but that was about it. And um, so um, I think she really, I don't know. I don't know, but after, uh, that's the stuff she lied about. And then um, 
after oh I left my bag at her shop so I, I emailed her contacted her and asked her to send me my um, my, my bag I was two hours away and she charged me shipping for it now that's fine but she also charged me an extra five dollars too so instead of it been seven dollars for shipping she charged me twelve dollars plus um, my when my tire popped I had to borrow 50, 15 bucks from her because all I had on me was 20 bucks and I needed 35 bucks to get, get the tire fixed and I had to give her that back so um, when I left I felt like something was kind of off balance with my um, energy field my energy was off balance and um, even though I can get it done myself I know that I had just paid $175 so I contacted her and told her that my energy felt off balance and she didn't even help me she just ignored my email and then a couple of days later she actually had the nerve to email me and ask me for the, um, the uh, money that I had owed her so it's like you couldn't even like you this is not a fast food restaurant you don't just have people coming to your shop get stuff done and then they, they contact you about stuff not going right and then you just ignore them and ask them for from from money this healing business is not all about about, about money this is about healing people making sure they right so I pretty much paid $175 to go get a bunch of nothing but her line to me she told me to bring my mom in and bring um, come come back so she can teach me something else and um um, which she probably wouldn't even taught me it. She just came up with a, another lie to have, to have me pay something again. So I felt like I, I, I had to expose her because the right ones will see this this video. This is not about starting drama or getting money or nothing, nothing, nothing like this. But the right ones will see, see this video because you, you can't just walk, walk around doing this stuff to people. This is important stuff. Lots of folks will be deceived and told different things that will cause them to do different things in their life, cause them to spend money that they could have spent somewhere else and better their life. You don't do that to folks. You don't act like a healer and then lie to folks and play folks from money. That can get yourself in trouble and get the folks that you were playing with in trouble. So I felt like I, I had to expose, expose people. Um, I know some folks might get upset and a angry or whatever and say I'm an agent or something, but no, I'm not an agent. You can check out my videos. I have lots of videos. I don't have advertisements on them. I don't ask for donations. I don't have any type of business where I sell things to, to people at the moment. So I'm not looking for any money. I'm not looking for any like publicity or nothing. This this is not for the fame. This is just to teach folks the stuff that I have to teach people because I feel like why I have all this wisdom and knowledge and just keep it to my, myself. So that's why I get on here and teach. It's not to get views and get followers and stuff and all that. This is just to help people and this is a good way to help people to expose these fake charlatans that are only out for from honey and that's all a healer is in the business for healing this this healing is not a business this is not a business this is this is to heal people that's it nothing more nothing less this is to heal people and create better lives for folks not to make money okay so anyway that's the end of this this video i hope all who, who watch this don't end up getting deceived by her or any anyone else if 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 you if you work with her, I suggest you find you a different, uh, a different shaman, a different healer, and go to somebody else that will really help you to get where you need to go, and not just try to sell you products. So anyway, I check y'all later. Peace.